when you try to calculate your average of two numbers in solidity, in some cases, this can overflow. For example, let's set x equal to the max of uint 256. This is 2 to the 256 minus 1. And let's set y equal to 1. Let's take the average of these two numbers. x plus y divided by 2. This is equal to x is 2 to the 256 minus 1, and y is equal to 1. We divide this sum by 2. The minus 1 cancels out with plus 1, and we're left with 2 to the 256 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 2 to the 255. Notice that when we took the average of these two numbers, the resulting number is less than the max of unit 256, which is equal to 2 to the 256 minus 1. However, when we're calculating this average, notice here that there is an overflow. We're adding plus 1 to the max of unit 256. So in some cases, if the intermediate sum goes over the max uint 256, then this can cause an overflow and we won't be able to calculate the average. However, there's a clever way to go around this problem, and the solution is to use bitwise operators. So the solution to calculate the average of x and y is a calculation that involves some bitwise operation, x and y plus x, x or y divided by 2. How can this calculate the average of two numbers? In this video, I'll explain how this equation calculates the average of two numbers, x and y. The reason why it works is because of the following equation. x plus y is equal to 2 times the bitwise operator of x and y plus x, x or y. Divide both sides of the equation by 2 and we'll get this equation. Here x and y is the ones both in x and y. And x, x or y is ones exclusively in x or y. If we can understand why this equation is true, then we can understand why this equation calculates the average. The key idea to understand why this equation is true is to split both x and y into two parts and then add the parts. First, let's split x into two parts. The two parts to split are the ones both in x and y and ones only in x. The first one we can compute by calculating the bitwise end, x and y. This will give us ones both in x and y. And to get ones only in x, we will do the x, x or y. This will give ones exclusively in x or y. And then we take a bitwise and. This will give us the ones only in x. So what we did so far here is we split x into two parts. Ones both in x and y, and ones only in x. To recover x, we can add these two up. So x will be equal to x and y plus x, x or y and x. We'll do the same thing for y. Split y into two parts. One's both in x and y, and one's only in y. The first one we can get by doing a x and y. The second part we can get by taking x, x or y, and then taking the bitwise and with y. And we can rewrite y using these two parts. x and y plus x, x or y, and y. Using these two equations, let's add x and y. Okay, let's calculate x plus y. The first part, x, is equal to this equation. We just bring it over to here. And let's do the same for y. Bring this equation over to here. Okay, next, let's add these terms up. Here on the left side, we have two x and y's. So this is equal to two times x and y. The right terms, we will need to think a little bit more. What we're doing here is adding ones only in x. This is mentioned here. x, x or y and x will give us ones only in x. And likewise, x, x, or y, and y will give us ones only in y. So what happens when we take ones only in x and then add it with ones only in y? Well, by definition, this is equal to ones exclusively in x or y. So adding these terms up, we get x, x, or y. And now we have the equation x plus y is equal to 2 times x and y plus x, x, or y. This is the equation that we said over here, that the sum of x and y is equal to 2 times x and y plus x, x, or y. Next, let me give you an example of this equation. For example, let's say x is equal to 1, 2, 3, and y is equal to 13. Here are the binary representation of 1, 2, 3, and 13. In pink, I've highlighted the parts that are exclusively in x or y. And in blue, I've highlighted the parts that are one both in x and y. First, let's split x into two parts. The parts that are both in x and y, and the parts that are only in x. Here in blue are the ones that are both in x and y. 
And here are the ones that are only in x. You'll do the same for y. Again, here are the ones that are both in x and y. And here's one that is only in y. Okay, to calculate x plus y, what we do is add these up and then also add these up. The first part, x and y, are the same. And we have two of these, so we multiply this number by two. Next, we add these terms up. Notice that wherever there's a one, on the bottom term, there's a zero. And wherever there's a one on the bottom term, there's a zero on the top term. So when we add this term up, we'll get ones only in x or in y. The sum of the first parts is equal to two times x and y. The sum of the second parts is x, x, or y. In summary, I showed you how to calculate the average of two numbers, x and y, without overflow. And we use this equation. To understand why this equation works, I also explain why this equation is true. x plus y is equal to 2 times x and y plus x, x, or y.